Hey everybody, <laughs> so it is so windy out. It's storming unbelievable outside right now. It's crazy. Here, let's go look. I'll show you. So all the wind is just going nuts. We had so much rain, now it's just wind. Well, I don't know if you can see anything out here. You can definitely hear it though. Sounds like the trees are going to come crashing down. Woo that's cold. Oof, cold, 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 cold. Say hi, Freckles. Where are you going? I'm going to chase you around. Huh? Hi, lady. Hi, lady. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. There they are. Follow me wherever I go. Lady sees herself. <laughs> okay, so it was a bus today trying to get all of my um, donations delivered, but we'll do that next, maybe this Saturday, I guess. So I thought maybe I'd show you what I'm going to deliver. Yeah, and then um. There's some pants. These are like really nice. They have uh, side pockets in them, you know. They're brand new. Then got <clears throat> one of these really nice shirts. Name brand, I can't remember what, what name brand it is. Brand new, never worn. And then here's that jacket I was telling you about. It's a nice jacket. Lined. It's so nice and worn. It could actually be a ski jacket, you know, it's so nice. And then we got this thing. This is so cool. This is a toy. I actually had this for years. My kids played with it. I think it's cool. <laughs> Look. So it goes into a ball. Or it'll open completely into a big sphere. That's cool, huh? I'm trying to get it back into a ball. I need two hands. <laughs> I need two hands to do that. Oop. And you could bounce it. So that'll be a lot of fun for some kid. Anybody ever see this movie? This is the funniest movie. This is an awesome movie. Three Idiots. It's not a little kid's movie, but it's great. It's funny. So, what did I do here? I don't think I tied this one in a knot. I usually don't do that. Let's see if we can get this open. What the heck did I do? Kids try to open this. I have it so I can just pull on one side and it'll come undone. But it's all. So we got the pillow and the blushes. Oh, there's some mud on the bottom of that one. I think I'll clean that off. 
<clears throat> I actually had them on earlier. I didn't know I cracked any mud. So anyway, I got another one here. Oh, it's a tape. Sorry. These are the summer shirts, of course. And another little cute shirt. <clears throat> Women's clothes. This is so pretty. I love that. And a turtleneck. This is really nice. Pair of pants. These have um, satin on them. Oh, and some water shoes. Some hangers. And some really cute little, really cute little baby toys. Baby blankets, baby blanket, baby quilt. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's like it's really storming. I think trees are getting ripped up from the roots. <laughs> Another baby blanket. That's really adorable. Or quilt. That's a quilt. And then this beautiful crochet blanket. And a little baby book. And then there's more. And these are poop blankets. Another book, baby book. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I had these in here. I made these for my children. This was their first Halloween. They were Minnie and Mickey. I had twins. So this was the hat that went on my daughter's head with their little tail. Well, actually, this is her little tail. <laughs> and this was my son's hat that went on his head. Isn't that adorable? Mickey and Minnie, and this is his tail. I didn't even know those were in there. I wonder I didn't donate that. First cat and mittens. Those are in there. Those will come in handy. A knitted baby blanket, another baby quilt, and another knitted baby blanket. So I got a lot of that. Thank 
here. And use this bag for taking off. There you go. And then I just have a lamp. Uh, oh, this right here. This is a um, decoration for Christmas. This is really nice to have. It's, I got two lights that are out. <laughs> two lamps. So that's the decoration for Christmas. It's a light. You plug it in. And it's a nativity. So, got that. I got a bunch of hangers and some other clothes, which I'm not going to open the other bags for clothes. And then uh, this lamp. This is a cute little lamp. I'm not going to take it out. It's, it's really cute. It's red. little red lamp. But, um... Whew, what a day. Oh, I had plans on doing that, but... Oh yeah, and these, the books. I have tons of books in my library, but I'm going to donate some of those books too. And... Actually, I have two, two bundles of books. So, I just want to let you guys know. It took me a long time to get... Uh, I don't know if I'm even completely over, but to, to get at least kind of normal after having my brain surgery, tumor removal, it was hard. I still am uncoordinated. And I put on a lot of weight because I can't go out and do anything. Um, I'm not going to be able to lift anything heavy for another month so it hasn't been a fun thing but I found out that I have Sjogren's I don't know if I've told you guys that but I have Sjogren's and lupus they told me that Sjogren's runs with lupus and most people that have lupus will usually get not everyone will get loop uh, Sjogren's but it, it, it pairs with lupus normally so I have that, which is very hard news. And I found out that that may be the reason why I got the tumor, because it'll do that. It uh, causes issues with you with your meningiomes in your brain, which cause a meningioma, and that's what I had. So it also messes up with your uh, lymph system. And I've been having issues with my lymph system. I have, well, I have issues with everything in my body. Head to toe. It's, it's really fun. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted anyone to know out there, if you are going through these autoimmune issues, don't let it get you down. Learn to get on a really good diet that will support your autoimmune. Stay away from things that will cause issues with your autoimmune disease. And the, the person that I followed, I, I, I got diagnosed in 2015. So I've had this for eight years. And I was really bad. I had MS symptoms. Um, I was, couldn't hardly walk. And I started following <clears throat> Dr. Axe and Dr. Hyman. And I followed their diets that they had to reset the gut and stayed away from nightshades and other um, foods that cause issues with your autoimmune. And I started to get better. I just started eating root vegetables. I, I eat beets, a lot of beets. I don't ever drink soda. I quit soda years ago, so I don't have a problem with that. No issues stopping that. But I do love coffee. <laughs> I'm Swedish, so we love our coffee. 
and it's not good for uh, autoimmune because you know it affects your your joints which you know I have arthritis that's part of the autoimmune so I'm supposed to stop that I'm gonna try it's really hard but I did during the time that I had my brain surgery I couldn't I wasn't supposed to drink coffee so when I discovered that I wasn't supposed to drink coffee I went ahead and I stopped I stopped the coffee and uh, then I started again as soon as I started feeling better but it does affect your brain it, it does well anyway I just wanted to let everybody know out there the reason why it took me so long to come back and make some videos is because of all the issues that I've been having so it's been a roller coaster um, there's days I feel good days I don't I'm not on any medicines right now because they're going to put me on hydroxychloroquine which is what they do with Sjogren's it doesn't cure anything, it just helps arthritis. It helps your inflammation, which is what autoimmune is. It's inflammation in your body because your body's fighting itself. And uh, I don't know if I really want to be on hydroxychloroquine because you can go blind if you take it for a certain amount of years, you can go blind. So we'll see. I'm going to try it. I have to go to an ophthalmologist, and the ophthalmologist has to sign off on my retinas to see if my retinas are healthy. Because, you know, lupus and Sjogren's, it'll, you can go blind with that. You know, it'll cause issues with your swelling of your retinal, retinas. So, anyway. I just wanted to get, let you guys know that's what was going on. And, of course, you know, I did have some depression with it. And the brain surgery and everything, it, it, it was very hard with trying to get myself reacclimated. I couldn't, I can't even drive. I'm still not supposed to really drive. But I do. I go to the store and stuff. So I don't have to do a lot of driving. But it, it is... It is a difficult thing, still. And uh, I also found out that uh, it can cause uh, lymphoma, which my grandfather died of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So that's kind of scary for me, too, with the Sjogren's. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a lot of Drinking beet juice, eating beets, because that helps keep your blood flushed. It can also destroy your kidneys. So I have to be very careful in the things that I drink or eat. I No alcohol. I won't be drinking any alcohol anymore. So maybe once or twice a year, have a glass of wine or something. But I want to save my uh, kidneys because that's that's a disaster if you lose your kidneys so uh, I don't want to be on dialysis no way <laughs> so that's what's been going on with me and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next I had a lot of plans but my also my car went on the fritz so I'm I don't know what the issue is I took it to a mechanic I had a dead battery so I took it to a different mechanic because my mechanic moved so I hadn't seen or really knew anyone to fix my vehicle so I took it to a different mechanic and all it needed was a battery a new battery and when I got it back it it was running horribly and then all of a sudden it it you turn it on, it's just like, <laughs> it's, it's terrible. So I can't really do anything about it right now. I'm going to have to wait until I get uh, some income to, you know, pay for that. But I don't have a vehicle to drive around in, so I borrow, I borrow vehicles from my sons <laughs> right now. But that I have to because I have to go to doctor's appointments until I can get my vehicle fixed, find out what's going on with it. But uh, that's about it. 
I'd love to take uh, my dogs out on some hunts, or not hunts, but hikes, because I'm feeling a little better. I, I'm not going to go on long hikes, you know, just a little hike around some empty lots in the neighborhood, but I'd also like to uh, do some home um, crafts and stuff like that. So I have a, a quilt that I was working on that I was working so many hours, I, I, I haven't done anything to the quilt for over a year. So I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to start working on that quilt and that quilt's pretty special. It's pretty nice. I'm actually going to try and sell it. So if anybody's interested, um, they can hit me up in the comments for that. But I'll pull that out and we'll look at it. Oh my gosh, the wind is crazy out there. I just heard something break. <laughs> I gotta go look at that. I gotta see what's out there. Let's see what's doing the damage. It is cold. It's cold. It is windy. Where's the garbage can? The garbage can fell over. I'll have to go out and fix that. So. What else what I was going to talk about? Hmm. I can't remember. Well, my hair is, uh, you know, I chopped my hair off. I did it myself. Um, if anybody remembers from the video that I had when I, uh, I had to cut my hair because it was so long. I cut over 12 inches off of my hair. And it's growing. Oh, that's one of the things I want to tell you. So after the uh, after the tumor was removed, two of the things that I noticed. Of course, I had more clarity. I could see better, and I I, I still have brain fog because you have that when you have Sjogren's and Lopras, but it's better than what it was. And. Uh, it's like it's like my thought is clearer you know I can I can ping those <laughs> those thoughts a lot better than what I was when I had the tumor there also my eyelashes are growing they're longer than they ever have been in a long time and my hair grows faster and my fingernails grow faster so that's cool I mean, I like that, you know, good things that happen during, because of that, that's awesome. Um, oh, I got this. This I never had before. And I don't know if this is there because of inflammation coming down from the surgery down into my neck. Or if this is something from when they intubated me for the surgery. I don't know. It's just weird. I never had this before. Hmm. So, I'll research that and find out. And uh, that's about it right now. Well, I'm going to chop down two trees, so I will definitely film that as soon as I feel a little better. I have, I have my days where I do better, and then sometimes it's a half a day. And if you know anything about autoimmune, you have fibromyalgia, you have pains in your body, it just picks and chooses. Some days it's everything. Some days it's just your feet. Some days it's your elbows or your knees or your back or your neck or <laughs> your in intestines or whatever it wants to attack that day or your fingers. But then also it makes you exhausted. It just You're just ex totally exhausted from your body fighting itself and uh, so we've been having this terrible rains well no no they're not terrible they're wonderful rains we need the rain but it's been here for four days and I've been trying to get out there to cut these trees down I got one massive tree I just need to get rid of it and then I want to also get rid of my pine tree because 
it's just uh, so much water. It takes so much water to keep the pine tree nice and green and pretty. Because we live in Las Vegas, which is, you know, a desert and it's hot. So I can't afford to keep watering this tree. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And I'm going to put up some nice flowery sh shrubs out front. But that's my plan. So as soon as it stops, well, maybe the tree will blow down from the winds tonight. But uh, if it doesn't, then I'll cut that down. And I'll definitely put that on the video. And uh, do the quilt. And I have a couple of uh, um, recipes I want to share. So I'll do that. So a lot of that I'm going to do instead of going out and hiking and going on my adventures with my dogs and stuff and uh that's about it don't have anything else planned but if you have any questions about you know your showgrounds or if you want to share something with me just uh leave a comment message me and i'll take you guys out with me on i think it'll be saturday or sunday when i deliver all this stuff on uh on uh the corner of the apartments that I usually do. Either houses or apartments, it's all in that same area. I'll just drop some of these gifts off somebody can use and I'll take you along with me for that. Okay, everybody have a blessed night. Bye. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Have a blessed night.